himself okay. in. Uh, we have been in contact with his family. The family is aware that uh, we are seeking his custody at this particular time. Uh, you know, it's no place that a 13-year-old can go that uh, we will not be able to locate them. Anthony Stokes is their fight. There's no information that the group that was surrounding uh, necessarily had any information that one of them you know, may have been armed. He's a baby, just like Anthony was, you know. On the verge of retirement, unleashed some frustration and unusual support for the president's crime bill, which has hit a dead end on Capitol Hill. It's a sad commentary when we have to charge a 13-year-old who obviously had some easy uh, access to a handgun. And how many other 13-year-olds will we have to lose in this city and in this country before they wake up? Deputy Chief Ritchie, who retired this weekend, says he's seen young kids at murder scenes for years now. So it should come as no surprise that when they too come of age, they too resort to deadly force. Leading to the arrest of the person who supplied the weapon. Uh, it is a, you know, a very unfortunate set of circumstances that a 13-year-old takes the life of another 13-year-old. But it is even more tragic that someone would either sell or give to a 13-year-old child. Anthony Stokes' family sits on the front steps of their Newton Street home, hoping their 13-year-old cousin will walk up the street and punch on them like he always did. But Anthony was shot to death around the corner from his grandmother's house on Saturday night. D.C. police have arrested another 13-year-old who was staying with his grandmother on Holmead Place. The two individuals had some type of uh, verbal altercation at a party uh, which I understand occurred the uh, previous evening, previous night. And uh, the reason for the confrontation uh, is still, you know, unknown, but apparently some words passed uh, between them. And on the uh, next evening, um, the two individuals uh, confronted uh, uh, each other. That confrontation took place on the corner of 14th and Street Northwest. The detective who testified at the suspect's arraignment said Anthony Stokes, quote, smushed the face of the suspect. After the second time, the suspect grabbed Anthony's shirt and shot him once in the chest. The suspect's parents were to turn him in on Monday. They didn't show up until 8.30 this morning. Obviously because of the age of the young man, uh, we are not going to release his name. He would be charged as a juvenile as a result of uh, only being 13 years of age. Anthony Stokes' family says they're glad the shooter has been caught, but they say they're not angry. Not because he was just a kid. To me, he was like Anthony, you know, a kid. You know, if it was someone older now, I would probably be angry, but he is just a kid, a baby. The family showed off Anthony's sports trophy, saying he had such potential. His teammates on the Le Mans Riggs